Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Lovett, AKA B-Love. Today we're gonna to talk about the difference between PLA and PETG and why for functional 3D prints, you wanna use PETG. Let's get into it. Now, if you've followed along over the past few weeks, you'll know that I've been setting up this, what I like to call my pandemic paradise. And one of the practical 3D printing episodes that I did was 3D printing these Tiki torch holders. In the video, I mentioned that I should have printed these out of PETG, but all I had left was black PLA. And so I want to kind of show you the reason why for functional prints, you always want to use PET. So first, what's the difference between the two materials? Well, PLA is a cornstarch based polymer. PETG, on the other hand, is often used for water bottles, things like soda bottles and water containers. The other big difference between the two is the melting point. Now you'll notice just when you're printing, you typically print PETG at 40, maybe 50 degrees Celsius higher than PLA, but practically when it's out in the sun, it also has about a 30 degree difference in its melting point. And as you can see from this one behind me, it's already started melting and sagging. And you can compare this to the PETG print right behind it or right next to it and you can really see how much it started to sag. What I thought would be kind of a cool side-by-side -side is to take one of my PLA prints, one of my pet prints, attach them to the wall right next to each other, and then let's just do a time-lapse and see how long it takes the PLA print to start sagging, and let's see if this one, the PET print, holds up any better. The first thing we need to do is take down this sad PLA print behind me. As you can see, this thing is really melted and most of it appears to be this kind of upper part, not really the, the bottom structure, but the whole thing is warped and twisted and bent and it just, I mean, it looks terrible. Let's take our PLA print and mount it. And now our PET print. Now let's label them both. All that's left to do now is wait. But it's been one day and we have the video to show kind of how these performed over that period of time. If you'll remember, the PLA wall sconce actually started with the light above this one when we started the test out. You can already, and we'll, we'll take you over here, but you can see how much it warped in just one day. That's pretty bad. This whole back piece is warped. This is starting to sag and the whole thing started melting. But if you look at our PETG version, and we'll just get this one out of the way a little bit, there's no warping, there's no disforming. It looks just like it did when we put it up. And it wasn't crazy hot out yesterday. It was, I mean, it was warm. It was probably 80 degrees, 85 degrees. But if this will melt at that point, definitely shows the importance of having the right material for the right job. And in this case, if you're building something that you want to use that's functional and you want to use it outside, definitely use PETG. For most functional prints, period, PETG is just a better material to use. Once you get used to printing with it, it's really not that bad. I've got a couple video tutorials that I'll link down below that show you the best way to get started with PETG and get the best prints possible. Let me know if you got questions down below. Otherwise, see you next time. Thanks.